Hi, Mike Clark here today to talk to you about a technique that I basically sort of came up with last week. Um, and I'd like to sort of share that with you. Now, I want to give a shout out to JDS uh, in the US. They were the ones who sort of, I saw their video, um, which gave me, you know, the link to get this product. Um, and it's called uh, LA's Totally Awesome. Uh, works really well. Um, on their video, uh, it did suggest just using a, a cloth or whatever, um, and I found that it, it worked not bad, but it didn't work as good as I would like to see it work. Um, and so I kind of sat there on the shelf for a little bit, and then in one last week I had to shine up a, a Yeti mug that I did. Um, and so what I ended up doing was I ended up putting some of the solution on a Mr. Clean Magic eraser and I went and rubbed that piece and it was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And the background came up perfectly silver. Like I was amazed how minimal amount of rubbing that I had to do uh, to get that clean compared to what I would have had to do before. And a lot of times, you know, with, with, the, uh, with just a magic, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, I still couldn't get it as clean as I got it with this, with this solution and, and a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. It really came out really well. Um, and so I'll just go through the quick step. It was pretty straightforward, just really a matter of laser etching the job and then just putting a, a little bit of solution on my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and just rub it off and, and things become nice and clean. I'll give you a couple of examples of what it looked like before and what it looked like after. Uh, but I was impressed. I just went on Amazon and we bought it about a month ago. Um, like I said, I, I tried to, to do it with a cloth, but I, it just didn't seem to work out good for me uh, as well as using the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. So uh, for me, that was a bit of a fluky find. Uh, but hey, this, that's how things get, <laughs> we figure things out sometimes. As people say, how do you know so much? Well, because I screw up a lot or I spend a lot of time, you know, farting around trying to figure something out and eventually, if lucky, if we're lucky, we'll get the, the, get the solution to our problem. Okay, and I know this is a problem that a lot of people have, you know, with things like Yeni mugs and, uh, you know, any of the powder coated mugs or in the case, even the, even the black painted mugs that we sell, again, there's always a little bit of residue there which we've got to clean, it, clean off. And you've got to be really careful with uh, this mug, this type of a, a finish here because if you, if you press really hard with the Mr. Clean, you'll scratch it. So the nice thing is, is I don't have to press really clean and what I get is, is in my books, just the bare metal, nice and shiny. So again, let's take a look at how to do this um, so that you can have some results like this where you get that nice shiny finish uh, on the actual mug. So to do my test, uh, what I've done is I've taken uh, a mug here with a powder coating on it. I've engraved a large rectangle. Uh, this one's about one and a half inches by three inches. So I've got a good area there so that when I clean this, we'll get a good indication of how well this technique works. So you can see it's, it's pretty gray. It ne really needs to be shined up. So here's the original image that basically was cleaned up. So you can see it's nice and shiny and it used to look just like this. Um, and the nice thing, like I said, about the rectangle is, is we'll really see how well this technique uh, cleans this area up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my cleaner. I'm going to take, I just have a, a, an old uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser that's been well used. I'm going to take this lid off. I'm going to put a little bit on here and then all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this and then clean it. And I'm not rubbing too hard. And you can see that I've got a very nice silver finish. I've removed all the residue that was on that mug. And again, the nice thing about that is that I didn't have to do a lot of work. And you know, maybe a lot of times, sometimes some person might have rerun that job. Um, in this case here, I just took it off, we cleaned it, and Bob's your uncle, as they say. Uh, and it's nice and clean. Now I do have one of our mugs here that we sell 
Uh, and again, the background is, is a little bit dull. Uh, it, and again, I, I like to see if I can get that a little bit sharper in terms of its cleanliness. So I'm going to use the same technique on this. So I put a little bit of the, the uh, liquid on here and then I'm going to take this and then I'm going to clean this off. And oh, that is a little bit better in terms of clean. So again, that's cleaned it up. I didn't have to rub very hard and it came off, it came nice and it came a little bit cleaner than it was. Okay. So this isn't very expensive, this product. And for me, the results are well worth the investment. Uh, and along with the Magic Clean Eraser, will get your Yeti mugs or any of your powder coated mugs, or in this case, even in the case here, which are just painted, uh, they'll clean that background off nice and quick with a lot, without a lot of effort. If I wasn't using this solution, I probably would have to press harder, which then might, might cause me to scratch more. Um, and sometimes it didn't even, the, the background didn't even come off. I couldn't get it removed. So this product works very, very well. Well, there you have it. Just a quick uh, tip for you how to use uh, LA's Totally Awesome with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Uh, and, and together, both of them will give you very, very good results uh, for cleaning your background on your Yeti mugs or your powder coated mugs, uh, or even in that case, some painted type mugs. So I'm gonna try this on some other materials uh, going forward, uh, but I, Thought I'd share this tip with you because for me this is this is amazing. Uh, I was I was blown away that that I was able to clean this stuff so easily. So, anyways, hope this helps everybody or at least some of you. Anyways, uh, maybe you have some other techniques uh, that you've used. Like I said, I've used Mr. Clean uh, Magic Erasers for years, and this just totally just shot just made that that technique even that much easier and that much better. So. Uh, again, if you're using those, buy some of this, add it in, and then, and then off you go.